Hello students, welcome to your channel. Please like, share and subscribe your own channel, School Studies. School Studies is pleased to announce the launch of our educational website, Patel section. After years of hard work and dedication, we are delighted to officially announce the launch. Our goal with this website is to provide our students with an easier way to learn their lesson and prepare for exams. The new website is interactive and gives better access to NCIT solution, GSSB solution and Kids Zone. Today we will see a video related to NCRT solution for class 10 mathematics chapter 13 surface areas and volumes exercise 13.2. So let's solve textbook exercise. The first question is a solid is in the shape of a cone. This is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 cm. Both the radius is equal to 1. Radius of cone as well as the radius of hemisphere. And the height of the cone is equal to its radius. Okay, the height is also equal to the radius. Find the volume of solid in terms of pi. So R is 1 cm, H is 1 cm. Okay, so volume of solid that is volume of conical part plus volume of hemispherical part. So we know the volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h and volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So while putting the values we will get pi centimeter cube. Next, Rachel. An engineering student was asked to make a model shaped like a cylinder. This is a cylinder with two cones. This is one cone and this is the second cone. Attached to its both end by using the thin aluminum sheet. The diameter of the model is 3 cm. The diameter is 3 cm. And its, radi uh, its length is 12 cm. The length of the full model is 12 cm. If each cone has a height of 2 cm, each cone height is 2 cm. So this is 2 cm, this is 2 cm and the cylindrical height is 8 cm. Find the volume of air contained in the model that Rachel made. Assume the outer and inner dimensions of the model to be nearly the same. So height is given. Height of cylinder is 12 minus 4 that is 8 cm. Radius is 1.5 cm because it is full given. We have to find the uh, radius. Height uh, of cone is 2 cm. Now the total volume of the air contained will be volume of cylinder plus 2 into volume of cones. So total volume equals to 66 cm cube. Next, a gulab jamun contains sugar syrup up to, uh, up to about 30 cm of its volume. Find approximately how much syrup will be found in 45 gulab jamuns, each shaped like a cylinder. The gulab jamuns are shaped like a cylinder with two hemispherical ends. So two hemispherical ends are there with length 5 cm and diameter 2.8 cm. So this is the shape of a gulab jamun, cylindrical with two hemispherical ends. The radius is given 2.8 cm, length is given 5 cm. Now, it is known that gulab jamuns are similar to cylindrical with two hemispherical ends. The total height of a gulab jamun is 7 cm. Diameter is 2.8, that, that means radius equals to 1.4 cm. Height of the cylindrical part is equals to 5 cm minus 1.4 plus 1.4 cm that is 2.2 cm is the height of the cylindrical part. Total volume of one gulab jamun equals to volume of cylinder plus volume of two hemispheres that is 25.05 cm cube. We know that the volume of sugar syrup is 30% of total volume. So the volume of sugar syrup in 45 gulab jamuns equals to 45 into 30% that is to 25.05 cm cube. So 45 into 7.5 sorry 7.515 equals to 338.184 cm cube. 
Next, a pen stand made up of wood is in the shape of cuboid. This is in the shape of a cuboid pen stand with four conical depressions to hold pen. Two, four conical depressions are there. The dimension of the cuboid are 15 cm by 10 cm by 3.5 cm. The radius of each of the de depressions is 0 0.5 cm and the depth is 1.4 cm. Find the volume of the wood in the entire stand. So, volume of cuboid equals to length into breadth into height that is 15 cm into 10 cm into 3.5 cm that is volume of cuboid equals to 525 cm cube. Depressions are like cones and we know volume of cone equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h. The radius is 0 0.5 cm and depth is 1.4 cm. So, volume of 4 cones equals to 4 into 1 by 3 pi r square h that is 1.46 cm square. Now, volume of wood equals to volume of cuboid minus 4 into volume of cone that is 525 minus 1.46 that is 523.54 cm square. Next, a vessel, vessel is in the form of inverted cone. This is the inverted cone. Its height is 8 cm. The radius of its top which is open is 5 cm. It is filled with the water up to the brim. With, when lead shoots, each of which of, is a spear of radius 0 0.5 cm are dropped into the vessel. One fourth of the water falls out flows out. Find the number of lead shoots dropped in the vessel. So, radius is 5, height is 8, radius of sphere is 0 0.5 cm. The diagram will be like this. It is known that volume of cone equals to volume of water in the cone. So, 1 by 3 pi r square h equals to 20, 200 upon 3 pi q centimeter cube. Now, total volume of water overflown equals to 1 by 4 into 200 upon 3 pi. That is 50 upon 3 pi. Volume of lead shot 4 upon 3 pi r cube. That is 1 upon 6 pi. Now, the number of lead shot equals to total number of volume water overflown. That is volume of lead shot. So, that is 50 upon 3 pi upon 1 by 6 pi. So, 50 upon 3 into 6 equals to 100. So, volume of lead shot is 100. A solid iron pole consists of sol cylindrical of height 220 centimeter. This is a solid iron pole. Diameter is 24 centimeters, so the radius is 12 centimeter, which is surmounted by the another cylinder of height 60 centimeter and radius 8 centimeter. Find the mass of the pole, which given that 1 centimeter cubic of iron has approximately 8 gram mass. So, height of the big cylinder H equals to 220 centimeter, radius equals to 12 centimeter. Volume of big cylinder equals to pi r square h that is ninety nine thousand five hundred and sixty five point eight centimeter cube. So height of smaller cylinder equals to a sixty centimeter. Radius equals to eight centimeter. So volume of smaller cylinder equals to twelve thousand sixty eight point five centimeter cube. So I, volume of iron equals to volume of big cylinder plus volume of small cylinder. So we will get one lakh. 11,634.5 cm cube. So, mass in mass equals to density into volume. So, mass of the pole equals to 8 into 1 lakh 11,634.5 that is 893 kg approximately weight. Mass of the pole. Next, a solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 cm and radius 60 cm standing on a hemisphere of radius 6 cm is placed upright in a right circular uh, cylinder full of water such that it touches the bot uh, bottom. Find the volume of water left in the cylinder. 
if the radius of cylinder is 60 cm and height is 180 cm. So, radius of cone is 60, height of the cone is 120 cm, radius of cylinder 60, height of cylinder equals to 180 cm, radius of hemisphere equals to 60. So, total volume of solid equals to volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. So, while putting the values, we will get volume of water left will be, sorry, we will get volume of cone equals to 1 by 3 pi r square h that is 144 into 10 raised to 3 pi centimeter cube. Volume of hemisphere also we, we will get the same. Then total volume of solid is 288 into 10 raised to 3 pi centimeter cube. So volume of cylinder equals to 648 into 10 cube pi centimeter cube. So now volume of water left will be volume of cylinder minus volume of solid that is 1.131 meter cube. Next, a spherical glass vessel has a cylindrical neck 8 cm long, 2 cm in di uh, diameter. The diameter of the spherical part is 8.5 cm. By measuring the amount of water it holds, a child finds its volume to be 345 centimeter cube. Check whether she is correct. Taking the above as inside measurement and pi equals to 3.14. So for the cylinder part, height is 8, radius is 1 centimeter. Spherical part, radius is 8.5 upon 2, that is 4.25 centimeter. Now volume of this vessel equals to volume of cylinder plus volume of sphere. So, while putting the values, we will get 346.51 cm cube. So, this was exercise 13.2 of NCRT solution for class 10th mathematics. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. Please leave comment, question or doubts in comment section if you have any. Or you can drop a mail to us. You will find my email ID at the end of this video. You can also join us on Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, connect us on LinkedIn or tweet us on Twitter. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you.